Okay, in the last lecture uh, we have discussed about the second order low pass filter and uh, we have seen that the second order low pass filter will be having uh, minus 40 dB per decade uh, roll off in the transition or uh, stop band. Okay. And uh, for different uh, damping factors we have uh, plotted the frequency response and we found that uh, Butterworth approximation is uh, more suitable for many of the practical applications because of the maximally flat frequency response in the pass band. So, we will discuss now the transfer functions of Butterworth approximation or Butterworth filter. Butterworth approximation and the filter which we are going to derive using this Butterworth uh, approximation are called as Butterworth filter. So, the generalized frequency response of uh, nth order Butterworth approximation is given by h of j omega magnitude square magnitude squared response is given by 1 over 1 plus omega by omega c whole to the power of 2 n, where n is the order of the filter filter or approximation omega c is the cutoff frequency. And this is magnitude squared frequency response. why we need this type of uh, approximations is if I take the ideal low pass filter frequency response it will be something like this. Up to omega c you should have unity gain and beyond the omega c 0 gain. This is the magnitude of h of j omega as a function of omega. This is ideal frequency response. Ideal filters are not practically realizable. Why? Because if I take the inverse Fourier transform of this one, we will get h of t which is the impulse response. If we take the inverse Fourier transform of this type of frequency response, we will get h of t which is non causal. In this sense, output not only depends upon the present input, but also on the previous as well as the past uh, inputs also. So, that is practically not possible. So, only thing that you can do is we have to approximate this uh, filter response so that we can get the impulse response which is. Uh, causal and we can practically realize those filters. Okay. So, for that this is ideal filter for n is equal to infinity, if order is infinity then we will get this type of the filter. Whereas, for different orders the filter response will be different, I am going to plot for three different uh, filter values. So, this type of response you will get for say n is equal to 1, say this is half, this is for n is equal to 1, lower order. So, this is far away from the uh, ideal frequency response. Okay. Now, if I take uh, one more value of n, so we will get something like this response. This is say for example, n is equal to 2. This is better than n is equal to 1, but it is also this is also far away from the ideal frequency response. Now, if I further increase the n value, so we will get something like this response. 
this is for n is equal to 100. So, as the n value increases, the frequency response approaches the ideal frequency response. There are some characteristics of this Butterworth filter. One is the magnitude squared response at omega is equal to 0 is if I substitute this omega is equal to 0 here this will be 1. So, this is 1 this can be as squared. Second one is the magnitude squared response at omega is equal to omega c is equal to if omega is equal to omega c 1 by 1 omega c omega c get cancelled 1 to the power of 2 n which is 1. So, 1 by 2. So, here this will be 1 by 2 at omega is equal to omega c this is 1 by 2 or implies if I take h of j omega is 1 by root 2. Normally, this frequency response will be plotted uh, in logarithmic scale. So, if I take 20 logarithm of modulus of h of j omega will be 20 logarithm of 1 by root 2 and this value will be approximately minus 3 dB. So, if I start this with 0 dB because log 1 is equal to 0. So, this value will be minus 3 dB. At cut off frequency, the frequency response will be dropped by 3 dB. So, you see the second uh, characteristics of uh, Butterworth approximation or Butterworth filter. Third one is H of j omega is monotonically decreasing function of omega. That is, this response will continuously decreases. It is not like sometime increases, sometime decreases. This is not monotonic response. This is continuously decreases. So, this is called monotonically decreasing function of omega. And the fourth important uh, characteristics of uh, this Butterworth filter is H of j omega is maximally flat. at the origin. Here it is maximally flat. So, this you can easily prove by differentiating this and equating to 0 at omega is equal to 0 we will get the maximum value. Okay. So, these are the 4 characteristics of uh, this Butterworth approximation. Now, we will derive the transfer functions of the Butterworth filter for different orders because later we are going to realize this filters using operational amplifiers. Okay. First, I will derive the transfer functions of Butterworth approximation for different orders. So, if I consider with h of j omega magnitude whole square is equal to 1 over 1 plus omega by omega c whole to the power of 2 n. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I will assume that omega c is equal to 1 and that filter is called normalized filter. Later, if you want the filter whose uh, cutoff frequency is other than uh, 1 radian per second, then you have to simply substitute omega by omega c. For normalized filter or approximation, omega c is equal to 1 radian per second. But in many cases, we want to design the filters whose cutoff frequency is other than 1 radian per second also. In that case, simply we will substitute wherever omega is there replace with omega by omega c. This we are going to do later after deriving this uh, normalized uh, filter frequency responses or transfer functions. Therefore, what will be the h of j omega square for normalized filter is 1 over 1 plus omega to the power of 2 n. 
So, we know that S is equal to j omega. So, this is nothing but h of s into h star of s because magnitude of a can be written as magnitude a into h star a into a star a star is the complex conjugate. Okay. So, this j omega I have substituted as s and here what will be this omega because this is function of s this also should be function of s. So, from this what is omega s by j this is 1 over 1 plus s by j whole to the power of 2 n. Here this is product of two transfer functions later we are going to show that one transfer function will be having poles in the left half of the s plane another will be having poles in the right half of the s plane. If I consider this s in fact is sigma plus j omega for the simplicity we will assume sigma is equal to 0. If I take the s plane you might have studied in your uh, Laplace transform this is sigma axis this is j omega axis this is left side half of the s plane. and this is right side of the s plane. And uh, there is an important uh, fact that in signal sense systems and as well as in Laplace transform we might have studied if a poles of a transfer function lies in the left half of the s plane the system is stable and we have to always design the filters which are stable. So, in order to derive the transfer function of a stable transfer function here we will be having uh, 2 n roots because this is order is 2 n 2 n roots or 2 n poles out of this 2 n poles n poles lies on the right half of the s plane n on the left half of the s plane. If you construct a transfer function using the poles which lies on the left half of the s plane then you will get a, a stable transfer function. So, in order to get the poles you have to equate the denominator to 0. So, 1 plus s by j whole to the power of 2 n should be 0 or s to the power of 2 n by j to the power of 2 n is equal to minus 1 implies what is s to the power of 2 n is equal to minus 1 into j to the power of 2 n. What is j? j is nothing but minus root of minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 whole to the power of half. So, if I substitute that this is equal to minus 1 is minus 1 whole to the power of half into 2 n this 2 to get cancelled this is equal to minus 1 into minus 1 to the power of n. So, this is totally minus 1 whole to the power of n plus 1. So, this is the expression that we are going to use to derive the transfer functions of this normalized Butterworth filter. So, the expression that you have got is s to the power of 2 n is equal to minus 1 whole to the power of n plus 1. So, this will be having total how many roots? 2 n roots slash poles roots are nothing but poles because this is denominator. So, this poles depends upon the n whether n is even or odd the poles will be having different locations right and it is shown that the poles of this Butterworth filter lies on the unit circle. So, if I take the first case where n is odd then what happens s to the power of 2 n n is odd. So, odd plus 1 becomes even. So, minus 1 to the power of even becomes plus 1. So, if want to represent this 1 in uh, phasor form 1 at an angle of 2 pi k if I call one otherwise I will write another step. The kth root 
total will be having 2n roots or 2n poles the kth root with 2n is given by 180 angle of 2 pi k where k varies from 0 1 2 so on up to 2n minus 1 totally 2n poles or what is sk kth pole 1 if I take this 2n to the other side in angle it will be divided with 2 pi k. So, what is the S0 is 180 angle of k is 0. So, this is 0 S1 the second pole 180 angle of 2 pi by n S2 180 angle of 4 pi by n. So, what is the gap between these angles? This to this is 2 pi by n, this to this is 2 pi by n, so on. So, what is the last uh, pole S 2 n minus 1 is equal to 1 at an angle of 2 pi k becomes 2 n minus 1 divided by n. This will be 1 at an angle of 4 pi n, n n get cancelled. If I plot these poles, they lies on the unit circle. This is one of the important uh, observation that the poles of Butterworth approximation lies on the circle. Whereas, if I take the Chebyshev approximation, they lies on the ellipse. So, if I assume that the first pole is here S0, S1 will be here what is this phase angle between these two is 2 pi by n and at another 2 pi by n we have s 2 and so on and this is finally, other side this is 2 pi minus 2 pi by n this is s 2 n minus 1 this is 2 pi actually in fact this is 2n we have to take this becomes pi n by n. So, this is also pi by n because this is 2n we have to divide. So, 2 to get cancelled pi k by n. So, pi k by n means this is pi into pi by n this is 2 pi by n and so on this is pi by this is 2 pi. So, this are the. So, this will be angle of 2 pi minus pi 2 pi by n is this is total is 2 pi up to here, this is 2 pi minus 2 pi by n, this is minus 2 pi by n. So, these are the location of the pole, this is important. So, the kth pole will be having magnitude of unity angle of pi k by n, not 2 pi k by n. This is the case of n is odd, for n is even, case 2 so what happens to this relation n is even means n plus 1 becomes odd minus 1 whole to the power of odd means minus 1 so s to the power of 2 of 2n will be minus 1 And if you want to write the kth pole sk to the power of 2 n in uh, phasor notation 1 at an angle of 2 pi k plus pi or what is sk this 2 n if I take to the other side it will divide this will be 1 at an angle of 2 pi k by plus pi by n 2 n this is equal to 1 at an angle of pi k by n plus pi by 2 n. So, what is S 0? One at an angle of pi by 2 n. S 1, one at an angle of this pi by 2 n will be there and this k becomes 1, so pi by n. So, total it will becomes 3 pi by this 2 n is common. So, pi by n plus pi by 2 n, 2 n if you take LCM, 
this is 3 pi by 2 n and so on. What is just 2 n minus 1 total 2 n poles 1 at an angle of k is 2 n minus 1 plus pi by 2 n. And if you plot these poles, they also lies on the unit circle, but the spacing is pi by 2 n. In case of n is odd, spacing is pi by n, whereas here pi by 2 n. And uh, the poles will not uh, lie here and here. It will start from here, here, there will be symmetry. This is S0, S1. This gap is 2 pi by n. This is S 2 n minus 1. So, with this background, we can uh, derive the transfer functions of normalized Butterworth low pass filter. Okay. First, I will go for the first order filter. low pass filter. So, the previous theory actually I have derived for your understanding. So, what is important is this transfer functions only. If you remember the transfer functions also it is ok. So, n is equal to 1 first order means n is equal to 1. So, which case you have to consider this case. In this case what is s k 1 at angle of pi k by n. and uh, k varies from in general 0, 1, 2, so on up to 2 n minus 1. Here n is equal to 1 means 2 n minus 1 becomes 1 for n is equal to 1. Only simply 2 only k is equal to 0, 1. So, what is S 0? 2 poles will be there. What is S 1? S 0 is k is equal to 0 means 1 at angle of 0. n is equal to 1, k is equal to 1 here n is equal to 1, in this case n is equal to 1, k is equal to 0, so 1 at angle of 0, in this case n is equal to 1, k is equal to 1. So, n k will get cancelled, we will get 1 at an angle of pi, which is nothing but cos pi plus j sin pi, cos pi is minus 1, sin pi is 0, so it is simply minus 1. There are two poles. 1 at s is equal to plus 1, another at s is equal to minus 1 on the unit circle. So, s is 1 pole, s is equal to plus 1, this is another pole, s is equal to minus 1. As I have told, uh, half of the poles lies on the right half of the s plane and half will lie on the left half of the s plane. But for stable transfer function, h of s, you can also call as this is first order, this is first order, this one suffix stands for order is given by 1 by s minus of the pole which lies on the left half of the s which is minus of minus 1, which is 1 by s plus 1. So, this is the transfer function of the first order filter which is stable. Now, if I want to derive the transfer function of the second order normalize your better with low pass filter, we can proceed in a similar manner. So, I will derive up to third order and after that I will give the transfer functions of uh, fourth and fifth orders. n is equal to 2. So, which formula I have to use now? This case, which is s k will be at an angle of 1 pi k by n plus pi by 2 n. So, n is equal to 2. So, this will be 1 at an angle of pi k by 
to n is equal to 2 plus pi by 4. So, totally we will be having 2 n roots or 2 n poles and k varies from 0, 1, 2, so 1 up to 2 n minus 1. What is 2 n minus 1? This is equal to 2 into n is 2 minus 1 is 3. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. Totally 4 poles are there for the second order system and uh, 2 poles lies on the left half of the S plane, 2 poles lies on the right half of the S plane. So, what is S0? k is 0. So, k is 0 means this is 0 1 at an angle of pi by 4 simply. What is this value cos pi by 4 plus j sin pi by 4? This is equal to 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2. So, this lies in the first coordinate somewhere here on the unit circle. S1 is 1 at an angle of k is equal to 1 means pi by 2 plus pi by 4. This is equal to 3 pi by 4. So, this is nothing but cos 3 pi by 4 plus j sin 3 pi by 4. minus 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2 it is somewhere here. Similarly, S2 we can derive that this is minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 this is complex conjugate of this this is plus this is minus complex conjugate minus minus this minus this plus becomes minus complex conjugate this will be somewhere here both axis are negative axis and S3 you will get minus 1 by root 2 pl plus 1 by root 2 complex conjugate of this in fact 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 here. So, out of these 4 poles this is S0 pole, this is S1, S2, S3 pole. S1 and S2 lies left half of the S plane. So, in order to have the stable transfer function, Tf stands for stable uh, transfer function, H2, this is second order, is given by 1 by S minus of S1. What is S1? Minus 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2 into, this is one factor and the contribution of the S2 is S minus of both are minus minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2. So, if you simplify this, what will be this? 1 over S square. So, this you can call as plus, this will be plus plus. S square plus s by root 2 plus j s by root 2 and this minus if I take inside this will become minus minus becomes plus plus s by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 1 by 2 plus into plus j by root 2 into 2 j by 2 plus that is all. So, if you simplify this finally, you will get this one as s square plus root 2 s plus 1. This we have already derived in the last lecture also. Damping factor we have got uh, as root 2 1.414. So, the second order transfer function is h 2 of s is equal to 1 by s square plus root 2 s plus 1. This we have to remember previous theory I have developed to derive this transfer functions only. So, we are going to use this in the design of the filters. So, you can directly remember also otherwise you can derive also it is up to you. Third order filter. 
for third order filter again odd, odd means this expression, this s k is equal to 1 pi k by n. Now, n k value varies from 0 to 2 n minus 1, 0, 1, 2 n minus 1 becomes 2 into 3 minus 1, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, totally 6 roots. So, S 0 will be n is equal to 3, k is equal to 0. Of course, in all these cases n is equal to 3, you can replace this as 1 at angle of pi k by 3. So, k is equal to 0 means 1 at angle of 0, s 1 1 at angle of pi by 3 which is equal to cos pi by 3 plus j sin pi by 3, this is equal to 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2. Similarly, you will get S 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2. S 3 you will get this 3 3 get cancel 1 at angle of pi which is nothing but minus 1. S 4 you will get complex conjugate of this, this is minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2. S 5 you will get complex conjugate of this this is equal to 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2. So, total we have 6 poles, if you plot these 6 poles on the unit circle, one is here which is S 0 pole, one is here which is S 3 pole and the remaining are, so here, 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 these are the 4 poles. Out of uh, this uh, which poles lies on the left half of this plane? This is S 2, S 3, S 4. So, we now have this table transfer function H 3 of S is equal to 1 over s minus of minus s plus 1 into s minus of s 2 pole, s 2 pole is this minus half plus j root 3 by 2 into s minus minus half minus j root 3 by 2 this if you simplify finally, you will get this one as 1 over s plus 1 into s square plus s plus 1. Similarly, we can derive for the fourth and fifth order. So, here I will derive, I will write down all the uh, transfer functions up to fifth order. Okay. H 1 the first order which we have derived as 1 over s plus 1. This is transfer functions of normalized Butterworth low pass filter. Normalized means you have taken omega c as 1 radian per second. This is first order. This also you have derived s square plus root 2 s plus 1. This is 1 by s plus 1 into s square plus s plus 1. Fourth order if you derive. s square plus 
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स फाइव थ्री सिक्स एस प्लस वन इंटू एस स्क्वेर प्लस वन पॉइंट एट फोर सेवन सेवन सिक्स एस प्लस वन एंड इफ आई टेक एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एच फाइव ऑफ एस प्लस वन फैक्टर फॉर ऑल दी आर्ड आर्डर फिल्टर्स देन एस स्क्वेर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट जीरो एस प्लस वन इंटू एस स्क्वेर प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट जीरो एस दीज आर दिस ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ दी फर्स्ट फाइव ऑर्डर ओके फॉन्ट द लार्जर ऑर्डर ऑल्सो कैन डिराइव इन ए सिमिलर मैनर सो एल जस्ट टेक ऑन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिजाइनिंग द फिल्टर यूजिंग आप एम पे डिजाइन एन एक्टिव सेकंड ऑर्डर बटरवर्थ लो पास फिल्टर विथ ए कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ वन किलो हिट आई फर्स्ट फर्गेट अबाउट दिस वन किलो हिट कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फर्स्ट आई डिराइव फॉर दि ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ नॉन वेज फिल्टर हूज कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन रेडियन पर सेकेंड सो यू हेव डिराइव दि एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दि सेकेंड आर्डर डायरेक्टली इफ वॉन्ट दि सेकेंड आर्डर एच टू ऑफ एस इज ईक्वल टू ओन ओवर एस स्क्वेर प्लस रूट टू एस प्लस वन दिस इज विदउट एम्प्लीफिकेशन इफ आई टेक दि सर्क्यूट्री हियर This is a circuit diagram that we have discussed in the last lecture. V I V O. These two R C sections will be there. And this is R one R F. So because of this R one R F, there will be some amplification factor A zero. This A zero is given by three minus zeta, which is damping factor. This is also equal to one plus R F by R naught, which we have discussed in the earlier lecture. So, in case of second order filter, what is zeta? Is root two. A zero is equal to three minus zeta is root two, which is one point four one four. So, what is value of A zero? Three if I subtract. 1.414 now i have to find out design in this sense we have to find out the values of r1 rf r and c to get this frequency of 1 kilohertz cut off frequency so a0 which is equal to 1 plus r f by r not this is equal to 1.586 implies what is r f by r1 r f by this r1 R1. Rf by R1 is equal to 0.586. This one will be subtracted. Now let R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohm. 
you can choose any value which is available in your laboratory. Employees, what is RF? RF should be 5.86 kilo ohms. So, this RF should be 5.86 kilo ohm and this R1 is 10 kilo ohm. So, to meet this second order requirement R1 and RF are these values. Now, what is the value of R and C to meet this frequency cutoff frequency? This also we have derived F C cutoff frequency we have derived as 1 by 2 pi R C. This should be equal to 1 kilo hertz implies R C is equal to 1 by 2000 pi. This is 1000, this is 2 pi, 2000 pi. Now, let you have to choose the value of C because it is a random value of C if you get uh, it becomes difficult to pick up the capacitance values. So, that is why in all these designs wherever R C product you have to satisfy for uh, some numerical value you have to first choose C say 0 0.1 microfarads. Then from this you can derive that R is equal to 1.6 kilo ohms you can see this. R is equal to once if you know C 1 by 2000 pi into C that comes around 1.6 kilo ohms. Now, this R is 1.6 kilo ohms and C is 0 0.1 microfarads. This R is 1.6 kilo ohms, this C is 0 0.1 microfarads. This is the design of this one, but what about the transfer function? Transfer function will be something like this. So, transfer function of this filter is H of S is A0 divided by S square plus root 2 S plus 1, this is for normalized. Whereas, for a cutoff frequency of omega C is equal to 1, but in the problem what is omega C given omega C? is 1 kilohertz means 2 pi into 1000, this is equal to 2000 pi radians per second. Now, to get this normalized this one what you have to do this is normalized, this is unnormalized. Can be obtained by simply substituting S by omega c. S by omega c. This is equal to A0 omega c square divided by S square plus root 2 omega c s plus omega c square, where omega c is this. If you substitute this here, you will get the transfer function and if you replace S with the omega, we can plot the frequency response. You can see that there will be 20 dB roll off, it will be something like this at cutoff frequency this will get 2000 pi radians per second omega this is unity at omega is equal to 0 here we will get 1 by root 2. So, this actually in fact we have derived in the previous lectures also this this is the one which we have derived which is same as this this is for unnormalized normalized means omega c is equal to 1. So, we will get simply S is square plus zeta S plus 1, zeta is in case of second order it is root 2. You see how you can design the low pass Butterworth filters. Now, if you want to design the same low pass filter, but fourth order. with cutoff frequency of same 1 kilohertz. 
then what you have to do is you have to cascade uh, two second order filters. So, if I take the normalized this one, this is H4 of S is equal to which I have given in the previous uh, slides S square plus 0 0.76536S plus 1 into 1 over S square plus 1.84776S plus 1. This is one second order, this is another second order. Here what is zeta 1 is 0 0.76536, here what is zeta 2 is 1.84776. Of course, in these two cases you require some A01 gains, A0 2 gains and if you want other than this cutoff frequency 1 you have to replace s with s by omega c that I will do at the end. So, with this zeta 1 what is a 0 1 relation 3 minus zeta 1 this is equal to 3 minus 0 0.76536 this is equal to if I take up to only 2 digits. Two point two four. But what is this one plus R F by R one? R F by R one is one we have to subtract so one point two four. Here let R one is equal to ten kilo ohms implies R F is equal to twelve point four kilo ohms. And here A02 is equal to 3 minus zeta 2 that is equal to 3 minus 1.84776. This is approximately if I take the 2 digits, one point one six. This is equal to 1 plus if I call the feedback resistance as R f dash for the second stage and R 1 dash for the second stage implies R f dash by R 1 dash is equal to 0 0.16. Here also let R 1 dash is equal to 10 kilo ohms implies R f dash is equal to 1.6 kilo ohms. So, the circuitry will be cascading of two such uh, circuits which you have derived in the previous example. This is one second order filter. This is R1 RF. This is RC VI. This is VI input voltage. This is not the final output, this is after the first stage, you can call as V01. The final output will be this you have to apply to another second order filter. This is second order filter. Another two sections of this RC. This is grounded. This will be applied to the non inverting terminal. This is the final output. this I am calling as R1 dash RF dash. This again RC RC. 
So, this R 1 we have taken as 10 k, R 1 dash also we have taken as 10 k correspondingly we got this R f as 12.4 kilo ohm and this R f dash as 1.6 kilo ohm. And what about this R and C? Here this R and this C all are same. R C is same again to get this R C F is given as 1 kilo H this is equal to 1 by 2 pi R C. Regardless of the whether the order is second order, fourth order, the cutoff frequency is same 1 by 2 pi R C implies R C is equal to 1 by 2000 pi. So, in the previous example also we have taken C as 0 0.1 microfarads correspondingly you got R as 1.6 kilo ohms. This is the complete design whereas the transfer function will be overall transfer function of H of S is equal to this A01 what is A01 is 2.24. So, 2.24 divided by S square now S becomes S by 2000 pi because this is not the normalized this is with cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz means 2000 pi radians plus 0 0.7636 into S by 2000 pi plus 1 is the first transfer function A01, A02 is 1.16, S becomes S by 2000 pi whole square plus 0 0.8160 S by 2000 pi plus 1.8160. This is the overall transfer function of this fourth order Butterworth filter whose cutoff frequency is 1 kilohertz or 2000 pi radians per second. Okay. This is also similar to the expression that we have derived. This in the form of this one only, but we have two such cascade sections. So, this is how we can uh, design this low pass Butterworth transmitted filters and then the filters with any cutoff frequency. Next we will discuss about the high pass filter in the next lecture. Thank you.